Hey everybody, today I'm just going to make a quick video explaining how this rotary scraper works. Uh, oftentimes these are also called tumble bug scrapers, uh, one and the same. They're all, they're all the, uh, the same machine. So it's a, uh, a pretty simple unit to use. This one has a approximately five foot wide bowl, um, just about a two foot depth. I could do the math and figure out what kind of yardage it will carry when it's full, but I just haven't taken the time yet. But uh, I will uh, just explain the functions of the uh, controls on this, uh, this little scraper and talk about some of the adjustments uh, to do to them to make them perform as, uh, as they're meant to. And when I'm done talking here, I will fire up the cat and actually give you a demonstration of uh, the things that I'm going to talk about. So uh, pretty simple in operation, two main levers. This front lever is the trip lever. When that is pulled, it will cause the bowl to rotate. This lever up here is the loading lever. When you are ready to load material, you will pull this lever forward and it will pitch the front of the cutting edge down into the dirt. It will start picking up material. When you have the bowl full or you want to finish the cut, you just let go of this lever. It will return to its normal position, which will kick the front of the cutting edge up off the ground. You will then stop picking up material and you will be in what is called carry mode. And in carry mode, when adjusted properly, the bowl will ride on these replaceable wear strips that are on the rear lower uh, edge of the bowl. And the reason you want to adjust it so that it, so that in carry mode the cutting edge is off the ground is so that you're not putting unnecessary wear on the bottom of the bowl or on the front of the cutting edge. These wear strips are replaceable and uh, it's best to put the wear on these instead of on the pieces that are uh, integral to the bowl. So when you get to where you want to dump the material, you would come back here, lift the trip lever again. It will then cause the bowl to rotate further forward from where it is now. And these stops will hit these levers and you will essentially be in uh, dump mode and it will also spread the material over, a cor over the course of uh, 10, 12 or so feet, depending on how full the bowl is. Um, after you have spread the material and the bowl is empty, you are then in what is considered transport mode. And in transport mode, the bowl will be riding on these large wear shoes here. There's one of these on each side. And again, these wear shoes are replaceable. And when you are uh, uh, going from where you dump the dirt back to where you want to begin the cut, you would keep it in transport mode. And these are, like I said, replaceable wear pieces just to uh, keep the wear off of the uh, the bowl itself so um, you can see there are lots of holes for adjustment for these stops there are also holes for adjustment for these rollers down here and it all has to tie into essentially the height of the drawbar of whatever machine you are towing these scrapers with uh, this is like I say behind a Caterpillar D2 right now and I found that having this clevis between the D2 draw bar and the tongue of the scraper just gives me the optimum height to, uh, to really match the adjustments on the bowl well and to really get it working as it should. And another thing I like to run with the draw bar stops way out so the draw bar can pivot and it makes turning a lot easier and it actually helps keep the tongue of the scraper from contacting the tracks on the machine. So. Um, those are pretty much all the high points. I will uh, fire up the cat and give you a demonstration. 